if I register and whether or not I upgrade, I get a locker. And as soon as I log in, you'll notice there's not a lot of fluff pages on the PowerChalk site. As soon as you log in, as soon as you get past the, here's what PowerChalk is for those who have not signed up, once you do sign up, we take you straight to your locker. So what you're going to see on the left side, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go back and forth between these two screens. This is the actual PowerChalk site. And you'll notice on the left here is my outline that I'll, I'll keep coming back to. But on the PowerChalk site, you'll notice I'm logged in as Chaz Henry. All right, so up in the right-hand corner, I can pull that down. I can sign in or sign in and sign out, log in as someone else. You know, I can look at my locker, my friends. But basically, the system takes me to this locker. And you'll notice it parks me in my videos. So that's really where I start each time. You'll notice I have 553 videos in my locker and we'll, we'll talk about how to how to sort through those but it's, it's worth mentioning that where I'm at is the same as me punching this button right here videos so this is kind of our home page again we, we assume you're a professional coach and we're taking you straight to work and we take you to videos now within this file manager if you will I can move around so I can go up to public videos and when I click that node it takes me into the public videos section and starts to expand that tree. So you'll notice in the public videos section, I can look at different sports. So I can up, open up this sport pull down, and now I get archery and Australian football and baseball and biomechanics, etc. And if I'm parked at the topmost node, it just shows me chronologically what's coming in. So you notice these are these are what these are the videos that are coming in from the world at large right now, and they're in chronological order. So newest first, and I'll slide around through here. So you notice there's uh, T. Glavin is uh, has uploaded some baseball video. We've got golf video. Looks like uh, our new U.S. Open champion Webb Simpson. Uh, M. House has uploaded there when there's another Webb Simpson. So we've got Curtis Strange, we've got Colin Pitching. Now one thing I'll point out is you'll notice that some of these videos, this James video right here, has a little neutron, what we call the power chalk neutron. So let me uh, get my highlighter here and I'll mark that. So the power chalk neutron right here indicates to me that this is a chalk talk. And what we mean by that, you'll notice that uh, this Colin video is 2 minutes and 11 seconds. And you'll notice that here's another Chalk Talk right here. I'll highlight that. This particular video is 6 minutes and 21 seconds. So this Neil Hunter video by Jay Jones is essentially a video that's been pulled into the Telestrator, analyzed, marked up, annotated, and then saved back to Jay Jones's locker. And it is 6 minutes and 21 seconds. So the other thing you'll notice is when I'm in this file manager, that the videos that are not Chalk Talks, so the Colin video here has the Chalk Talk symbol. So I have the ability to say Chalk Talk this video. In other words, pull it straight into the Telestrator. I do not have that same option. The little guy with the headset is not present on this Neil Hunter video because it already is a Chalk Talk. So the Neil Hunter video can only be played. So I could play that. I could pop up the player. And I know this really won't come through, but I'll just give you an idea of what that does. I'll pop up the player right there and hit stop. And you'll notice that that pops up a little uh, pop-up window that can be played and then with the X in the corner dismissed. Okay, so that's how I would play that video. And I have other options with each video, and I can pull this menu down. And the options will vary depending on whether or not I am the owner. So if you remember, we were in public videos, and with this public video that I do not own, I can mark it as a favorite, I can embed it, so I can get the codes just like you can with a YouTube video, and I can embed it in a web page or an email. I can share it, so I can send you a link. I can say, hey, coach, uh, here's what this guy is saying, or here's how this kid looks. I think this is a good model you know, for Mike. I can share it out that way, or I can report abuse. Report abuse may basically means... One of the things we're doing here with PowerChalk is we're creating a very wholesome site. This site is for sports videos. This is not cats playing the piano. 
uh, unless you want to analyze that in slow motion. But essentially, we want to create a site that is uh, very pure in sports analysis. So this would be the way that you would tell us that this is an inappropriate video and we'll get it off of there immediately if you report abuse on that.